Hello my lovely, so great to have you here. Um, today I'm going to be doing something really cool and different. I found a really, really cute photo of um, Aladdin's carpet, the magic carpet, um, from the Cave of Wonders. And I've got this beautiful pashmina straight from Israel that my boss brought back for me. And it's in the exact same colours as the carpet. And we did spend most of today watching the Disney's um, movie from the 90s with my boys. Um, and just going down that memory lane, my favourite childhood movie, and um, quickly becoming theirs as well. So I still haven't got out to see um, the new one with Will Smith. I am so eager, but it just hasn't happened for me yet. But um, while I wait in excitement, I'm going to try and do a carpet-inspired look today. The first colour we're going to definitely focus on is a vibrant purple. I'm going to try my best to match the sort of hues and, and, and features of the carpet. So I'm going to start with the crease and see how deep this colour goes on. Then I'll take a little brush and go in with the darker purple. And then take the first brush that still has that first purple on it and just smoke it out so I can get a bit more height on this crease. Taking a flat brush like that, I'm going to work in a little bit of burgundy for the flames represented on the carpet for the Cave of Wonders. So the burgundy I'm going to go for is more of a just a dark red or a bit more of an orange hue. I definitely don't want to use any pinks here. Okay, looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take a very small flat brush and go in with a golden sort of yellow. Now depending on the kind of pigments you're working with, you may have needed to wet the brush with a lighter colour or even cut the crease, but this gold is so creamy and so beautiful. It just blends so nicely with the burgundy transition so well. So both eyes are done now. I'm just going to take another little brush, maybe a little angled brush, just to give me a bit more precision. I'm going to wet it this time and go in with a very bright shimmery blue just on my wet line. And come back and extend it under the eyelashes as well. Okay, this is going to be the fun part. I'm just going to take a little brown pencil, just a light fawny colour, um, just any will do. And what I want to do is I'm going to just do the outline of the design I want in my outer corner. Okay, just sketch that in there. On the carpet, that little squiggle is in a lighter purple. Um, right in the middle. I'm just going to use a silver liner, liquid liner, to really bring it out. I'm going to go back in with my little angle blush that I did the light blue with. Once again it's going to be wet and I'm just going to use that metallic silver line and trace it with the blue. Next, with a tiny little pencil brush, look at that, so fine. A bit of setting spray on there. I'm going to go into some purple and bring this blue and silver with, back to life with a bit of bright, vibrant purple. Looking pretty good. So I've incorporated the purple into a bit of a wing. Of course you can leave off all this design, it would just be a very cute makeup look, but this is such an awesome look for a party or a festival, if that's where you go, or um, just a fun event. Um, you know, you can, makeup can inspire you in so many different ways and for so many different reasons, just to be a little bit different and I don't know, I kind of like this. Okay, so this is going to be my finished carpet look. It could have gone further and done the whole side of my face purple, but I thought I'd stop because it was starting to look a little bit like amateur hour. Um, <laughs> with my swords looking a little bit more like crooked bananas. But um, I'm pretty happy with my tiger. So, all in all, very, very cool experiment. Um, can't wait to hear what you guys think. 
This is so much fun. So I've definitely achieved the eye look that I wanted. This is so cool. And I wish my face paints were just a little bit better quality. Um, so I did all of this with face paints. Um, and I used lip gloss for the glitter effect on the mouth of the Cave of Wonders. Um, but it just didn't have the structure in the formula to give me straight lines on my sword. So hindsight, probably could have used liquid eyeliner and gotten a much better result. But I'm pretty happy with the design. Um, and there we are. Um, but let's just take a moment to appreciate how good of a highlighter that gold face paint <laughs> goes for. Oh, wow. So I might use, be using it for that in the future, seeing as it doesn't really work for what I want it to work for. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, yeah, and I added just a little bit of eyeshadow to the eyes, a bit of teal eyeshadow just to give it that emerald eye look. Okay, lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this look. It's a little bit different. Take from it whatever you would like to use to apply. Um, there are different, different steps that we can adapt to different looks. Um, I'm especially loving eyeshadow for the wet line just with a bit of setting spray it turns into a liquid product and as long as it's an, an eyeshadow that you can trust with your eyes like you don't react to it, it doesn't cause any swelling or itching then I say go for it. Um, all makeup is just as dangerous to the eye whether you put it on your eyelid or on your wet line. Thank you so much for coming along on the journey with me. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's a little bit different, a bit more creative, a bit more fun um, but you can definitely take wearable components out of this and um, apply them to your everyday looks. All right, lovelies, hope you have a moment to hit the subscribe and like button and uh, find me on social media and those wonderful things. I hope to see you there. Bye.